All right, now that I'm 45, um, I'd like to look at, at the year and maybe beyond that, or uh, before a year of uh, my health progressions. What are my biggest health complaints? Uh, I don't think I'm exercising enough still as much as I'd, as much as I like to try to exercise and always keep it mindful of it. I don't think I'm doing it enough. Um, I have learned that walking and bicycling are not enough. They don't prevent a lot of uh, uh, issues like strength imbalances. That's a big one. Because my, my biggest, my, my lifestyle, I, I'm sitting in my car all the time. And so my, my lifestyle involves a lot of sitting. And I've, I've come to this, this uh, just today, I just I come to this, this uh, belief now, uh, reading about uh, Kevin Smith's heart attack from 2018. I just wanted to get a follow-up on that. And he, he, his LAD artery in his heart caused issues. Uh, they, they got blocked and I'm thinking, you know, I'm getting a lot of problems with that. Like I feel like, uh, when my heart is really struggling, like there's a, there's a pulse I feel like in the muscle of my left pectoral, the left pectoral muscle, I feel a pulse, like my heart is struggling and that's not a good sign. That's, that's the, I think the arteries on uh, the outside right in front of the heart that are struggling and they're actually putting a pulse out into the chest region i've felt the shortness of breath i felt the tightness at times <clears throat> and I i've come to the, a lot of conclusion that that much of it is is because i'm i'm hunched over this car i'm constantly sitting hunched over sewing even playing on the computer sewing just being hunched over, sitting here like this. And after a big meal, I, I'm full in the I'm full in the, the stomach. I'm I'm full in the stomach. And then I sit hunched over my car. So I'm tightening the whole front region with a full full well-fed stomach and then and then hunched over. I think I'm tightening the chest, and that's where I get a lot of my my chest issues. Uh, just just yesterday, I, I I started. I finally figured out uh, something I could do to try to expand the chest more. And yesterday, um, I, I, I I used my my stool that I got a uh, a week or two ago. This stool right here, a 12 inch high foldable stool has really changed things uh i've had maybe a week and a half maybe two weeks and i was doing a lot of step ups i noticed i i uh do step ups uh and and my my left knee was hurting for a while still kind of does doing those it's too high of a step up because of my injured knee but my knee is getting better each each day uh but i was doing a lot of step ups and and then i noticed that i wanted to run more by doing step ups and and but uh, it's still even step ups and wanting to run jumping bouncing trying to loosen up the gut it doesn't make up for the issue of being hunched over my car I'm so angry about living in my car but I, I mean I don't have the money I, I gotta I gotta just keep working around this issue but not sitting so much but uh, the, the hunched over I, I realized uh, on this step stool that I can lay on my back, lay on the small of my back on it, and then use my 45 pound plate and lift it forward. My, my pecs are actually sore today because I, I never, it's been a long time. Uh, I was doing that exercise on picnic tables, but it was pretty rare I, I got to park next to a picnic table and do that. But now with this stool, this stool has changed a lot of things. I could sit outside my car. I could do step ups. I could do that particular exercise. I could work the backs of my legs by putting my feet on the stool, and and uh, working the, yeah the working the backs of the legs, and also just raise my feet up for my my uh, 
dip bars when I do the rows. Even rows didn't doesn't help this chest compression. This is a chest compression. And, and you know, it's just like I, I, I fill my stomach up full of food, then I hunch forward for hours, and it's it's pushing my heart forward into my chest and and causing tightness there. And that's gonna be the death of me. Being hunched over all the time, tightening things up, getting them tissues to form in that way, causing issues. That's my biggest problem because gut inflammation is done. I'm exercising more. Gut inflammation seems to be a lack of exercise issue. Somebody in comments said a long time ago I needed to do more sit-ups. I was constantly complaining about my, my gut inf inflammation and feeling sick. But all that's gone. Getting away from fermentation completely, I'm done with that. That's the lazy man's approach to f nutrition. I, I, I'm more into boiling grass, and I got to say, that's been a real benefit. Um, I've been, I'll say I've been eating too many peanuts, I believe, because I seem to also have heart, uh, heart reactions with peanuts. So I'm cutting back on peanuts. I just realized, this is stuff I'm just realizing as I turned 45. Uh, but if I wanted to look back six months or so, um, I, 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 never, I never really got any, any major illness. Okay. Um, there's, there's been periodic stomach sickness and there was a, yeah, there was a time when I was in Tucson, Arizona for like six months. I had this con continuous stomach illness. Uh, I, I just, I couldn't explain that, um, exactly, but I, I bet, if I was in the grass teas back then, but in Tucson, there's really no grass to pick. But if I could have gotten into the grass teas, I wasn't cooking back in Tucson. So my stomach illness could have been a result of uh, not cooking enough because I started cooking more seriously um, in Texas when I got my Christmas stand. Well, it's not visible, but... Uh, I've been, I've been cooking more. I got five teapots now. I'm constantly filling up these, these teapots with grass. Got to pack them tight, pack that grass tight in there. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it's, it's laborious, which I'm, I'm generally pretty lazy. So I got the time to pick the grass, look around for it, pick it. Um, let's see. Uh, health, health stuff. Um, just my, my biggest issue is being hunched over so much. Because uh, every so I get aches and pains every so often in the joints, but they come and go. Magnets help with making them go. Uh, <clears throat> I, I just want to improve on, on my health. I feel like I'm in a better shape. Because with grass teas, my, my digestion has improved. My teeth, they feel stronger. Like, is there magnesium in, in the wheatgrass, the, the wild the wild grass? Because it feels, it feels almost better than potatoes. Potatoes make my teeth feel stronger. They, potatoes take away the teeth pain, especially after eating dates. I can eat dates all day long and have no problems now. Whereas six years, five, six years ago, I, dates were hurting my teeth. And they're not anymore. Potatoes took that pain away. Grass really took the pain away. I was I was really attributing a lack of tooth pain to potatoes and green beans before I was boiling grass. Now grass is a standalone. <clears throat> and I did have a big meal, so I am hunching over with a full stomach, pushing my heart against my chest and causing a concern with that. Uh, I got to be careful. So, uh, yes, just exercise is really, um, like with this COVID thing, it's, it's forcing me to park in more parks. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing that for the exercise opportunities. I'm trying to find parks that I can exercise freely without people judging me, without too many people running around judging me, uh, because... Uh, there's there was some situation yesterday that's, that made me a little nervous about exercising in public, about how people react to uh, 
queer, I'd say a queer lifestyle. I'd call exercising in public, just wasting energy. It doesn't look like you're serving any purpose, just exercising. I'd call that a queer activity. All right. And I don't, and, and a lot of people don't, I don't think a lot of people uh, are, are supportive of it. Uh, especially when only 15% of the population really get into exercise in any city, 15%, some cities is clearly less. They, they, they may look at exercise as a waste of energy. You should be using that towards work. So cooking, grass teas, new exercise equipment with my footstool and my, my dip bars are, are, are really uh, changing, helping change things around. But I'd really like to get out of this hunched over position I'm in constantly in my car. That's something I have to work on. Um, try to try to make some money so I can get a van. I'm just not in that position yet. I think I could really improve my health by by being able to uh, have more opportunities to stretch. Because I'm in the Walmart parking lot, I can't just go out and start bouncing around in the Walmart parking lot. I'll get the manager coming over. I've had managers come over and tell me to get moving. All right. Because they don't want they don't want to see people exercising in their parking lot. This is for shopping, and I don't have and the, and there's a park nearby. I, I don't really I don't really like because it just gets packed, and it's the only park in this city. Sometimes I get lucky and I find a good park that I can freely exercise and do whatever. But it's not always the case. And those moments where I don't have the opportunity to exercise, when I'm in a bad spot, bad place. It catches up with me because it doesn't take long for being hunched over and not exercising for those health issues of lack of exercise to, to come up and they start tell, you know, start causing heart issues and stuff and, and big concerns there. Uh, but the number one thing is at age 45, I definitely know I need to keep moving. All right. <clears throat> I need to be willing to, to search harder for places uh to to exercise to stretch out the chest and and all of that 